Okay, hey, look, uh, Fred wants us to go to Vimeo. To be serious has made a response, and in general, there is a desire for this sort of thing. Now, I am fine at YouTube, uh, but I've noticed I'm not happy with other with the way other people are treated. So it's a concern for me. I happen to be fine because I don't want to do anything that has violated their their actual enforcement yet. On the other hand, in principle. But I, yeah, there's a vulnerability there. On the other hand, I'd like a video site where you could put your videos anywhere. So here's what I'm I proposing. I mean, I'm about to work on this kind of thing slowly myself. But if people are interested, uh, and and of the software to to begin, it'd be very quick. The fact is this: to start your own YouTube now is quite possible with the success of YouTube and other video sharing sites and of the flash media server, which is a big one, is a ten thousand. There is a lot of competition. So there's hosting services like the kind you go to directly to make your own website with your own host or usually a shared hosting plan. At the low end, it costs about a dollar per connection, simultaneous connection per month. So what I'm proposing is this. If a bunch of people that want to be able to um, have their videos at a site like this uh, go together at a dollar a month, and it gets cheaper as you scale up. If you start to get like $500 a month, then you're gonna have a much cheaper per connection rate. Um, that's even for uh, flash-based media server stuff, but there's a, a competitor, Wowza, which seems pretty good. And you know, you can make stick -em sites, which means there'll be an automatic upload and stuff. Now the issue is this. Let's say 20 of us get together and do this, and we end up spending $20 a month on a media server. That means there'd be 20 simultaneous connections, right? 20 simultaneous connections. That means those 20 people could all be online at once, watching each other's video. Anytime a paying person goes on, they'll be able to say the, see the videos at the site. But if you know your video is mentioned on CNN and a million people go, uh, there'll just be 20 people will get, you know, if, if none of the registered users in, the, in this co-op are there, and so all of their connections that are dedicated for them that they paid for are free, other people can use them, but only 20, <laughs> you know, and then people would get rejected, sorry, you can pay a dollar if you want, all right, so this doesn't work for performers, which is great, this stops, uh, Cody Weber has no reason to be on a website like this, because he wants to fan out, but for people having a conversation, it would work pretty good. We'd always be able to see each other's replies and, and respond. Other people would be able to get in because, you know, in my experience, it's at least a 10 to 1. It's a very rough factor, but 10 to 1. So, you know, you have a dedicated connection 24 hours a day, but you don't use it 24 hours a day. So statistically, you know, you could probably have uh, 200 people uh, keeping up with all the videos with just 20 simultaneous connections. And if somebody is just an observer and wants to keep up, well, if they pay a dollar, then they can see them all, you know. So I would propose something like that. We get together, we buy one of these hosts. I, and then anybody that is in the cooperative is free to, or maybe anybody, period, is free to make their own interface to this database, right? These services already have a player and a recorder and stuff. On the other hand, it's for developers, so you'd have to do work to plug into it, you know, the way, you know, you really want to and not just be super primitive. But I, as a member of the co-op, will go ahead and make a website. In a week or two, we could have it up and running if we get the video hoster. In fact, uh, I just have a lot of things on my website, and I've been thinking I might as well develop it with YouTube and worry about this later. Uh, but there's sites where I could get 10 simultaneous connections for free and start trying it out. I'll probably do that. But if people want to move in there, you know, I'm more motivated to do it. And, um, you know, frankly, I think uh, there's a benefit of the fact that this is antiviral. As it grew, it would be able to support that kind of traffic. Um, but, you know, basically built as a co-op, I think we could go ahead and have Google Ads and stuff. And we define where that money goes back into the servers and legal defense or whatever if it got big enough. And... Um, uh, yeah, I think it's a, I, I think it, it's, it's doable, and I would like to do it as a co-op, and anybody could have an interface to this database, and I'm going to make one that's designed for 
uh, structured conversation. If, if somebody puts up a work of art up there, a little skit, it's going to specifically be to have people comment on what they thought about it. It's not to perform for the audience, it's to get feedback, it's analysis. But the database, I mean, could be used however the people, the paying people want. And as I say, you could use the site without paying, and a, you know, I have one person paying for a connection, always has a dedicated connection, and is serving about 10 other people who sometimes when they come, won't be able to find a connection, you know, because all 20 are used, or, you know, all 20 subscribers are on. But, um, yeah, you know, as, as, as it grew, you, you know, you would, you would take a co-op approach and a sort of an open-ended approach. And uh, we wouldn't spend our money on, peop you know, just people filming their family hijinks or trying to get a, a skit comedy career. Uh, though they could take part, but it, when they did it through my site, it would have to be a structured conversation. But they could have their own site. And if they pay the dollar for the co-op, you know, they could partake in the free speech uh, stuff, I think. Um, and, and I think a dollar is a good amount. I don't want to pay 10 or $20 a month for that. Um, that's ridiculous to me. So um, I would rather, um, I, I think a dollar a month is a token amount that will, you know, people that just want to, you know, upload the video of some girl that was dancing on cam, they're not going to want to pay a dollar for that. Um, so, yeah, I think there's some natural stuff there. And I think if we're going to move to another site, let's just move to our own site and make it a co-op where the principles of supporting the video makers is the priority. You know, that's why wait? We could do it now. And then the only business we're dealing with doesn't live off of um, advertisements. It lives off of, of our subscription, and it makes it a lot harder to, to uh, censor because you actually have to get the government to do it because, um, you know, there's no advertiser to pressure your ISP. Only your own advertisers pressure you, or, um, you know, Google won't run your ads. Well, that's no big deal. Um, if we have this co-op $1 model, I think it survives off that. Um, the thing with the ads is we might be able to buy extra connections and therefore, you know, if somebody has a message that people want to see, we don't have to say, sorry, no more connections at the moment, come back later, um, which would be nice. So, uh, but the point is it's sustainable without that. And, um, yeah, so that's what I propose.